the end of the 70s, I started to think about permanent sound installations and I studied electronics. By chance, I found these beautiful amplifiers, telephone amplifiers, and I transformed them and used them for my sound installations with electromagnetic fields. Cables were put into the rooms and people came in, they were having these at their ears, and when they came near to the cables, they could hear all the sounds which were running in the electromagnetic cables. The system developed and became larger and more complex and I found headphones uh, which were large enough to have my own electronic equipment in it, which is again coils and amplifiers and some other little secrets. Uh, they look like this. It was much easier to walk around from one field to the next one and really become a kind of mixer, to become a kind of composer within the installation. <laughs> In the 90s, I discovered that I got more and more disturbances in my headphones. Disturbances which were interesting musical-wise, like rhythms, like pulses, like all kind of noises, but it was not my sounds. Um, asking around, I found out that there was an incredible increase of electromagnetic waves um, with the new technologies, digital developments, uh, hotspots, and so on. And this was the starting point for a new kind of work, the electrical works. The electrical box have started in 2004 in Cologne. It was a kind of test and we just had a very small map drawn by hand just to help people a little bit to find their way. The response was very good and so I started really to work on the development of new headphones. The first models came out in 2005 and uh, the work starts in the way that I go into the city. I don't know anything about it, about the electromagnetic waves. I get my headphone and I walk. I take notes, I write down interesting places, uh, interesting places most are in city centers where the money is, where the shops are, where the banks are, where the traffic lines are, uh, stations, subways, and a lot of things I don't know exactly where they come from. This, for example, is the worked out map of Oxford. This is London, and then this is Berlin. Another surprise was at ZKM. Uh, we did the walk inside, in the collection, in the museum. You could hear the sounds of Namjoon Pike sculptures or of all the technology which was inside. We went into the offices and some people really got scared afterwards about the intensity of what they heard. In New York it was very, very loud and the grids of course are very different, the street maps are different because every city is very personal. They have like their individual sounds and they have their global players which are security systems which sound alike almost everywhere. Uh, Riga was very special too, um, kind of eastern sounds you could say, old bus systems, unknown industrial sounds.